Welcome back to the Virtuous Woman Show. And today we are having a very wonderful but sober discussion about feminism. And Dr. Moshai is really bringing it out very well. And Dr. Moshai, before we went for the break, there was this area of you were to tackle about how do we bring a balance between an alpha woman, a woman who is outside there feeling like, me, 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 not, where's that? Me, you, they come with that negative energy, and a woman who is a feminist that believes in op women getting opportunities. How do we bring a balance so that as Christian women, we don't find ourselves overstepping and breaking the boundaries within the Word of God? She has got money. Mm -hmm. She has got influence, maybe in whichever area of life. Yeah. There are a number of areas that do not work out well. Okay. One way one can have all the money, yeah. but at a particular point, one you hear, I want a child, okay. and I do not want to be another person, oh. where will you get that child? Mm -hmm. Most likely, they'll go out of the way to mm. get a married man yes. in a family setup, mm -hmm. get a child, mm. and bring the child alone. Yeah. And that is a fertile cloud for our generation, for mm. our society. Because even when they bring up that child, that child lack lol models. Okay. And I do not want to say that uh, if you are single, you cannot bring your kids mm -hmm. uh, correctly. Mm -hmm. But there are challenges when you make a choice mm -hmm. because you do not want to be under somebody. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. there is a challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not good for a man to, to be, be alone. alone. Yeah. I'll give him a helper. Mm. So this helper, it's only that uh, the, the, the world went the wrong direction yeah. and sin entered the world. Mm -hmm. That uh, now we find people starting out and saying, I do not require a man in my life. I cannot, you know, I cannot do the following for a man. Yes. But quietly and at their own time, mm -hmm. they will still look for them. Yeah, okay. They will look if they have a, a, a major decision to make. Mm -hmm. They will look for a man for consultation. Okay. So if they want to tell us that it is possible to be truly that feminism, mm -hmm. then you do not require to bring them along in your life. Okay. Then you remain single and single and single. <laughs> <laughs> but there is this, uh, the, 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 the line, yeah. where do we, do, do, do we, we don't want to overstep. That is it. And, but we want just to, 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 to promote feminism without coming out as we are we don't require men we have positions of wherever we are how can we help like even promote that positive feminism uh i want to say that um when we think of our current society mm -hmm. where we are yet to bring to raise the woman to the current status of men. Mm -hmm. If we give them opportunity, if there is a vacant position like mm -hmm. thank God for our current mother Kome who mm -hmm. has taken up the judiciary. Oh, yeah. Thank God for our governors. Mm -hmm. We thank God for them. Mm -hmm. If there is such an opportunity that men and women can actually compare ama compete fair, mm -hmm. fairly. Blame. Mm -hmm. without in intimidation. Hakuna wale wanawekwa chini na mm -hmm. threats. Mm -hmm. Hakuna wale wanapagiwa magunsa wakuja wa wachape ama mm -hmm. wa intimidate. Mm -hmm. Kama tunaweza fanya hivyo tupatie wa, uh, wa, tupatie wa mama mm -hmm. uh, na fazi mm -hmm. wa wanganganie kama uh, the, the main counterpart. Okay. Then we would say that uh, tunawapatia a challenge. You know we are giving up the, giving them the platform they require. Mm -hmm. But in a moment, uh, a lady starts up, na anataka kusema, anataka kungangania, mm -hmm. kuna maswali ya naulizo, kwanza naulizo mze wako wako wapi, e, bomba yako wa, e, iko wapi. <laughs> Nigeta, Unaatia nani? Nigeataka tu hata wanaume waulizo ya hao maswali tu, <laughs> jami yako iko wapi, mm -hmm. e, bibi yako iko wapi. Si, inaulizo tu the, the political, uh, the, the, the women alone. Yes. So it is equal challenge for both. If there are questions to be asked, yeah. To Aulize Wote, okay. the politicians across the board. Whether male or female. Male uh, or female, mm -hmm. but not when we want to, inter to silence 
the women <laughs> because some questions are always like structured to put the woman down down umewacha nyumbani na nani na wewe umekuja huku kwa nini okay I, i get it even men should be asked the same question you see anytime i look at women that take positions in yeah. the government mm -hmm. especially in the government as political arenas mm -hmm. I'm telling you that for, for, for a woman to go for that seat, mm. she must have received. Uh, she, she there must be something inside of her that 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 has she's been wired and called to do that. And what is it that triggered you? Because you carry this with a lot of passion and grace. What is it that triggered you? To, to 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 fight for the women's uh, right or when it comes to opportunities in the society there are a number of things that triggered my my status why mm -hmm. I, i i question the mm -hmm. status quo kwa nini ninauliza ninajiuliza maswali inheritance wakati mwingine unaona mtu tu ha ni ni umezaliwa pahali lakini mzee akipaga ama akipaga kugawa mali yake wasichana ni kama tu they don't unakuja tu ku, unaitwa tu mkule mchele na mkule chapo ninyi mtoke na mchele na chapo uh -huh. lakini mali yende na vijana hmm. naona hiyo ikiwa very unfair kwa hmm. sababu si haki kwa sababu mtoto ni mtoto tupewe yes. mali you two are considered like equal children yes kuna baadhi ya wazazi wengine eh, eh Mustana anaambiwa wewe wewe unaendelea kuchunga mm. lakini kijana analipiwa kalo kukiwa na shida ya ya ya, ya fees mm. unaona mzee ana decide alipie kijana kuliko kulipia mustana mm -hmm. na bado kijana huyu atakuja kumsubua <laughs> baadhi yao yes. kuna wengi mm -hmm. watakuja kuwa shida wengi mm -hmm. na wanaachilia msichana tu uh, akae nyumbani you are, you are given sacred position mm -hmm. and hiyo inauma sana kwa mtu kuona you are not given an equal chance yeah. like the other person the, like mm -hmm. the The, the boy and the girl child i, I believe it, uh, children are a blessing from god yeah. and you see the ch the daughters of zelofe had yeah. in the book of numbers 27 yeah. they taught us na wametufundisha kwamba hata sisi kina dada yeah tuko na right ya kupatiwa inheritance yeah. si wanaume peke yake kwa hivyo when it comes to opportunities i believe that even ladies women girls young girls even in school if they want to be prefects let them be given that opportunity so that they can stand and 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 take the leadership roles yeah. what would you say it's the way forward from now what do we do As, as a society where do we come in now that umetuambia na tumejua there is positive feminism feminism is a beautiful thing that i have an opportunity just like my brother has an opportunity so uh, what's the way forward now uh, let's go to the grassroots uh -huh. uh, pale nyumbani uh, watoto wakikua wakizaliwa mm. mm. waone dadi na mom mm. wakifanya kazi pamoja okay Waache ku imagine the place of the woman is in the kitchen. Yes. Waache wa kusema kazi ya mama ni jikoni. <laughs> na kwa sababu mm. wengi labda wametoka jamii kama pahali bwana na uh, bwana na bibi wanafanya kazi. Hiyo yeah. tayari is, it is uh, by itself mm. a fact that uh, a lady can equally be a blade earner mm. and uh, uh, the man can also be equally a blade earner. Mm -hmm. But when they work together let also our men know mm -hmm. that uh, we are working together mm -hmm. those so because you are going to come in the evening all of us mm -hmm. let's see what we are able to do together because we are working together yes. not to leave our the traditional norms mm -hmm. tufanye kazi pamoja nikuje jikoni nipike peke yangu yes. nikuje jikoni nifanye kazi yote hiyo traditional norms ya mama wa the house yes. the house maker yeah. while your wife is not a house maker he's not a house a, a, a housewife ujue tu mm. they must uh, lazima sisi wote tukubaliane ku kusaidiana ku, ku seed ground mm -hmm. eh kusaidiana mm. uh, tufunze watoto wetu hakuna kazi imewekwa ime jina eh. wajue tu kwanza anything that uh, itatusaidia kuwa mm. ku empower everybody yes that the that the boy uh, kijana anaweza jisimamia mm -hmm. anaweza pika basic food yes. anaweza jioshea guo yes. anaweza 
in case there is nobody and as a pika ugali na tukuja tukule yes. because he was the one who is at home mm. allow them to have that self care skills yes. that they can meet their basic needs mm. in school and even in college mm. allow them to success okay. i oh, i'd also like the society we shout out is of it by a buyer to nona they are intimidating mm -hmm. uh, making women to be victim of circumstances yeah shout it out mm -hmm. because if you say this is not right and especially when somebody is uh, when there is sexual harassment rape yes. and then at times you are told because it was a a cousin when they are three or two evil, it is mm. very painful to the girl. Mm. They require to be given their equal measure. It is a relative. Mm -hmm. If there's something wrong that happened to a person, they it is shout it out. Let, 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 let's shout it out. Okay. It is also important to teach them. Mm. Teach them because knowledge is power. Yes. Wafunzwe. While Michelle, while we empowered, do I do this is not right, this mm -hmm. is wrong. Mm -hmm. And I try to think when you train them, mm -hmm. you know, the Bible tells us train a child mm -hmm. when they are young in the ways to follow and they'll never depart from it. Train them young. from Lakini you see Gode, Kiwe, the stage of adolescence, who Jamabia, Kuoge, and you know, Kuoge, Vibaya, Kupika, and Vibaya, again at Akuriza, Utani Funza, and Kiwa, this age, was a bab was as well because I come for this a palatini, Aki Funzo, at Akua Naiju, Quigia Kodikon Haitaku issue, Kua man who has been trained. Lakini, who can you ban Hajai on a Baba Jikoni? How is it? How is it? How is it? How is it? It is important for us to <laughs> teach our children. Yeah. I believe you have been blessed. But, and this reminds me of Deborah. Deborah who took her leadership role. Hey, and she did a wonderful job as a woman. Until men came and they said, if you don't go to war, we are not going to war. We want to go with you. There is a position that God has called you to take as a woman. Please don't shy away from it. You need to sit and do what God has called you to do and fulfill the purpose of God. We love you. And we want to end this broadcast by asking you to, to, to receive Christ in your life. If you don't know Christ, you should receive Christ. Therefore, you should, will be able to take your leadership role with a lot of grace and from a biblical point of view. Until we meet again next time, we want you to stay blessed and keep pushing forward because you're a virtuous woman. May the Lord bless you. Bye. God bless you.